If you're a music producer who's looking to get paid for their production by artists as clients, whether it's selling beats, whether it's producing songs, this is something that's really important to understand. Every single market that you can think of, whether it's health, whether it's shopping, fashion, music, it doesn't matter. There's always going to be different levels of clientele. There's gonna be premium clients, there's gonna be mid-tier clients and low-tier clients. And this is kind of what it looks like. The majority of people are going to be lower-tier people because there's a lot of people that do this as a hobby, they aren't as dedicated, they're not doing this as a career. And so the lower tier people are always just gonna be bigger in every single market. Think of clothing, Walmart. There's a lot more people that shop at Walmart than people that shop at Gucci or Louis Vuitton. There's a lot of people that shop at the mall, which is kind of mid-tier, but there's a lot more people that in the lower tier market. And when you're going after a certain tier, your marketing message is gonna be different everywhere. If you think of a Walmart ad, what they do is they always promote how heavily they discount things, how good their prices are. If you look at a Rolex, Ferrari, Lamborghini, it doesn't matter, the more premium markets, they don't talk about price. They talk about a result. This is what it gets you. This is the status it gets you. So clearly the mentality, the mindset between someone who's in a lower tier and a high tier is drastically different. So your marketing message is going to be different in order to attract these types of clients. And I wanna bring this up mainly because a lot of times our initial thought is to lower our prices so that we can get more clients so that we can make more money. But that's not always the case. It really just depends on what you're going after. If you want to say sell beats on BeatStars, you just want to sell non-exclusive beats, then yes, the lower tier market is what you're gonna be going after because you can get a larger mass amount of people to buy a cheaper product. But if you're wanting to attract people who are a higher tier, invest more, don't care about price as much as outcome, you're going to be talking different to the higher tier market. You're going to be talking about what kind of solution they can get if they work with you. You're gonna be talking about the outcome, the result that they're gonna get. Not as much on the price, but more so on the result. Because think of this, if you ever walked into a Ferrari dealership, it's not gonna be somebody sitting there haggling, going back and forth with the salesman, going and talking to his manager about the pricing. It's always gonna be, is this the feature that I'm looking for? Does it have these kinds of seats? Does it have this feature? This is the exact color I want. Okay, I will pay for it, I will buy it, doesn't matter, there's not really a negotiation. So the mindset, the mentality is just different. If you're going after a higher tier client, you need to stop lowering your prices because your pricing is a massive part of your branding. It's one of the biggest indicators in which someone makes a judgment call about your brand before even being part of your brand. So for example, if you were to have two VSTs, they're both pianos, one's 500, one's a dollar. You haven't heard either one of them. You haven't messed with either one of them. Which one would you assume sounds better? Most likely the $500 one. And you know nothing about it besides the pricing. So what does that mean? As people, we kind of just assume that things that cost more money are going to be better, right? That's why a Bentley costs more, but a Geo Metro costs less. Which one are you gonna assume that's better? Just by seeing the price tag, the premium product. So when you are speaking to somebody who is in the premium tier, who wants to buy a high ticket product, you're not going to be selling them on the pricing. You're not gonna say, oh, but it's only this much, because they're gonna look at you and be like, that's not what I care about. I care about the outcome. I care about the result. So if you want to focus on attracting the higher tier clients, that's what you need to be talking about in your marketing. Instead of talking about the pricing all the time, buy one, get one free, buy five, get 15 free, that's not gonna attract these people. That's gonna attract these people. If somebody from a higher tier looks at that, they're gonna be like, I, I don't care. Like, that's not what I want. What I want is a specialized, custom tailored production that fits me and only me. If you wanna attract those clients, you have to speak in that way. You have to speak about what it's like right now for them to not have that solution. This is what your music sounds like right now because if you're getting beats off of BeatStars, you're doing non-exclusive licensing, you're probably running into this issue. You record the perfect song to a beat that you liked. You bought it in non-exclusive and you recorded the perfect song. But then after you released it, you put all this effort into it, you are scanning through beats online and all of a sudden you hear another rapper on the same beat as you. 
And then you go back and you try to buy the exclusive, but the exclusive is already sold to this other artist. So that is a pain point that an artist in a higher tier would have, but a person in a lower tier would not. Now, if somebody was in a lower tier as an artist, they would hear that and they'd be like, that's okay, doesn't matter, right? Because it's not a big deal to them because their career isn't as big of a deal to them as somebody in a higher tier. That's only a problem the person in the higher tier would have. And if you speak that in your marketing, guess who you're going to attract? So hopefully this video was helpful. I just want you guys to realize that there are these tiers in every single marketplace, even if you believe that there's not in music, even if you believe there's artists that wouldn't pay that much for a production, there are. You just have to find a different way to attract them. If you wanna learn more about how to get high ticket clients, I'm gonna leave a training down below that goes over in depth the entire business model that I teach that helps me and other producers do this full time and sell a lot of music. So if you found this helpful, please share this with a friend. And if you like this and you wanna hear more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Mom.